What's up, Savvy Expats? So you've seen and heard me cover countless videos of BGC. Don't believe me? Well then check this out. BGC. BGC. The BGC. And BGC. BGC is and BGC. And BGC and BGC. Yep. Have you heard the name BGC enough yet? Well, good, because today we're switching it up and taking a look at Keston City for a change. Specifically, what $500 rent per month gets you in Keston City. So without wasting time, please hit that like button. This is Sparta! And let's get into our list. So at condo number one, we have a studio unit at Avida Towers Vida at Bagong Pag-asa, Quezon City. And for those of you that don't know what Bagong Pag-asa means, it means new hope. <laughs> but getting back on track with this condo, this unit would set you back 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. And for that, you're getting 22 square meters or 236 square feet of space. Now getting into the pictures, this is the view of your unit upon entry. As you can see, it was furnished simply, and off the bat, you'll notice your TV on the right side wall and a reasonably sized bed on the left side. And switching angles, this is what the entryway to the unit looks like. There on the right side wall, you have some space to put your shoes and hang your coats and whatnot. You'll also notice the doorway to the right, which leads to your bathroom. Walking into the bathroom, as you can see, it's up to date and has a unique design. On the left, where your shower is, you have a black stone design, and on the right, you have a quartz design. But other than that, you have all your basic necessities for your bathroom. Walking further into the unit, you take a left from your entryway and you have your kitchen. You can see the entryway on the left side of this picture. And on the right side, you have your bed and a nice design above it. Stepping closer to your kitchen, as you can see, you have a basic electric stovetop, sink, mini fridge, and cabinet space. So that was the first unit on our list going for $500 per month. So let's hop into the next. Now at condo number two, we have a furnished studio located at 1 Eastwood Avenue, located in Eastwood City. And as a matter of fact, when we first got to the Philippines, Eastwood City was the very first place that my family stayed at. This was a time where my little brother and I were in our Michael Jackson phase. So overall, Eastwood is a small but decent place to live in. It really only took us a day to explore it before we seen it all. So quite honestly, I'd still rather live in BGC. All right, so after all that talking, let's get back into condo number two. So this unit at Eastwood Avenue is going for 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. And for that, you're getting 30 square meters or 322 square feet of space. Now getting into the pictures, this is what your unit looks like upon entry. Right away, you have your kitchen to the left. In this kitchen, you have your sink, microwave, stovetop, fridge, and cabinet space. And switching angles opposite to that view, here is what your entryway looks like. And as you can see from this picture, immediately the first thing you'll notice is the nice floor to ceiling windows. There you have a couch in the living room and a sizable bed further back. Switching angles, as you can see across from the bed, you have your TV. And from this picture, you can get a better view of your living room with the couch there. Then here you have your two person dining table. And lastly, here we have your bathroom. There's your mirror and sink, and here's your up-to-date and decent-sized shower. Now, moving on to condo number three, we have yet another studio unit at 1 Eastwood Avenue. This unit would cost you 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. And for that, you're getting 37 square meters or 397 square feet of space. Now, getting into the pictures, you can get a full view of the unit from this angle. As you can see, you have your entryway back there, and you can't see it, but to the right upon entry, you have your kitchen. Now, switching angles, opposite to the the first view we looked at, this is what your unit looks like upon entry. Right in front of you, you have your four person dining table. And from this picture, you can see both the dining table and couch there. But now looking to the right, here we have your kitchen. Stepping closer, as you can see, there is your fridge, stovetop, sink, and cabinet space. And from this view, you can see the dining table, couch, and bed. Stepping closer, here's a better view of your sizable bed. Looks good. And lastly, here we have your bathroom where you have your sink, toilet, and shower. Not bad at all. Now, hopping into condo number four, we have a one bedroom unit at Zanlin Place Residences. Once again, this unit is 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. As for space, you're getting 41 square meters or 441 square feet of space. So this is bigger than the previous condos on our list. Now getting into the pictures, upon entry, you have your living room. There you have your couch and to the right of that, you have your table. Switching angles, as you can see across from the couch, you have your TV. The doorway to the left leads to the bathroom, while that open doorway leads to your bedroom. Look behind this angle and here you have a better view of the unit with the doorway back there. 
and to the right of the doorway here we have your kitchen you simply have a sink fridge electric stovetop and cabinet space now walking into the bedroom the first thing you'll notice is that you have a phenomenal skyline view from your window stepping a little closer here you can get a better angle of the window view then here you have a small bed a lampstand next to it a desk and a dresser here's a look at the overall size of the bedroom and lastly here you have your bathroom with a shower to the left toilet in the middle and your sink to the right now moving on to counter number five we have a one bed one bath unit at circulo verde and this unit would set you back 30,000 pesos or six hundred dollars per month and as for space you're getting 44 square meters or 473 square feet of space now getting into the pictures this is what your unit looks like upon entry immediately you have your living room and further back you have your kitchen and dining table Switching angles opposite to the previous view, here you can see your entryway. And stepping closer to the living room, you can see you also have your TV along with the couch and coffee table. Now as for the kitchen, as you can see, you simply have the fridge, stovetop, sink, and some wooden cabinets. From this view, you can see what the unit looks like with the blinds open, and there you have your balcony. Stepping out to your balcony, this is your view. Looks like you're at a decent height, and there you have a river running through. As for your bathroom, it's still yet to be furnished. There's your dresser in the corner. You also have a window facing the same view as the balcony. Lastly, here's your bathroom. As you can see, you have all your basic necessities and it's fairly up to date. Moving on to counter number six, we have a studio unit at Will Tower in QC. And this unit costs 27,500 pesos or $544 per month. And for that, you're getting 29 square meters or 269 square feet of space. Now getting into the pictures, this is your unit upon entry. It's small, but it was furnished well. There you have your bed and across from that is your TV. And opposite to this angle, there you can see the entrance to the unit with the kitchen being the first thing you open up to. And moving closer to the kitchen, you have your four burner stovetop, oven, sink, cabinet space, and fridge. And right next to the fridge, you have a two person dining table with bar stool seating. And right behind the dining area, you have your living room with the couch, coffee table, and decor above. And now here's a closer look at your bed. I like the wood paneling design used as the headboard and just beside the bed, you have some drawers for your clothes as well as your window view. And this is the picture of the toilet and shower. And from the looks of it, it's pretty small. Now at counter number seven, we have a loft unit at Green Hill Garden Squares, which is going for 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. And for that, you're getting 56 square meters or 602 square feet of space, making this the largest unit on our list so far. And getting into the pictures, this is what your unit looks like upon entry. As you can see, as this is a loft, you have your staircase leading you up to your bedroom. But further down the unit, as you can see from this angle, here you have your living room. There you have your regular couch and a reclining chair to the left and to the right you have your TV. And behind that, here you have your kitchen which immediately you'll notice is up to date. There you have a tiled backsplash, some cabinet space, a fridge to the right, and a pantry to the left. And going back to the first angle, you also have your four person dining table there as well. But taking a right and walking up the staircase, here we have your bedroom loft. As you can see, your bed is a decent size and behind the bed you have a view of the living room. And switching angles. Opposite to the bed, you have a desk slash office space to work. And lastly, here we have your bathroom with all your basic necessities. Now, moving straight into counter number eight, we have a one bed, one bath unit at 1 Eastwood Avenue. And for this unit, you're paying 30,000 pesos or $600 per month. And as for square footage, you're getting 44 square meters or 473 square feet of space. So getting into the pictures, this is the first thing that you open up to upon entry, your kitchen, there you have your stovetop, microwave, fridge, sink, and cabinet space. And stepping further into the condo, this is what the rest of the unit looks like. You have your six person dining table there, and you'll notice a fantastic wall design to the left. Straight ahead there, you also have your living room, which stepping closer, you have a couch, TV, and some sizable windows. As for your bedroom, as you can see, it's open and not closed in whatsoever. You have the same wood paneling design as outside in the living room, and there you have your large bed. Switching angles, on the other side of the bedroom, you have your dresser. Lastly, this is the only picture of the bathroom, but from the looks of it, it's up to date. Now, hopping into counter number nine, we have a one bed, one bath unit at Eastwood Legrand. And this unit would run you 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. And as for square footage, you're getting 36 square meters or 387 square feet of space. And getting into the pictures, here you have your bedroom, which as you can see was furnished excellently. Switching angles, you can see the other side of the bedroom where you have the bathroom. And from this view, you can see across from the bed where you have your TV. Now walking outside the bedroom, here you have your living room. 
There's your couch, coffee table, and TV. And a little bit behind the living room, closer to the entrance of the unit, you have your four-person glass dining table. As you can see, the doorway is to the right and walk right down to the left of this picture and you have your living room. But behind this angle, here we have your kitchen. You have your backsplash, four burner stove top, oven, microwave, fridge, sink, and cabinet space. Switching angles, this will give you a better picture of the entire space. Kind of a tight fit if you ask me. But lastly, here we have the bathroom, which is up to date and has all your basic necessities. Now for the last and final condo unit on our list, we have a one bed, one bath unit at Eastwood Legrand. This unit would cost you 25,000 pesos or $500 per month. And as for space, you're getting 36 square meters or 387 square feet of space. Now getting into the pictures, this is what your unit looks like upon entry. You have your four person dining table, living room further down and kitchen to the right. You can also see the doorway ahead that opens up to the bedroom, but switching angles, here you can see the entryway to the unit and to the left that opens up to your kitchen. As for your living room, you simply have a couch, TV and window view. And now here is a view of your kitchen. As you can see, you have a fridge, sink, microwave, electric stove, and cabinet space. And switching angles, here we have your bedroom. As you can see, you have a sizable bed and decent sized windows. Down from your bedroom view, you can see the condo pool as well. And lastly, here we have your bathroom. As you can see, it's fairly up to date with a sink and toilet. And here's a closer view of your shower. And so there you have it, Sevy Expats. Those are 10 condo units in Kesson City going for $500 rent per month. I'll leave all the links to each of these condos in the description down below. And if there's a specific city or place in the Philippines that you want me to cover next, leave it in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video or got some value out of it, let me know by giving this video a big ol' like. Let's try and get this video to 100 likes for the YouTube algorithm. And last request, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to get us to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. We are so close. And so thank you Savvy Expats for watching and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.